Well, I'm a, a surf artist, uh, seascapes, uh, spending that much time in the water, you're always looking around, the lighting was always interesting. So I painted what I saw and what kind of was in me that had to come out. I was usually surf oriented and uh, I hit the ground running after that. Just everything started to sell right away and I thought, hey, I guess I can do this. I'll have a canvas, I'll have an idea of what size I want and then I'll just, there'll be a moment where it'll just be okay now. And then I just sit down and I just start painting and usually lay in about 80% of the piece in a marathon session, eight hours or so, and then it the kind of, the juice slows down and then I pick it up the next day and do the detailing. Some large pieces I'll paint all day and all night and they'll come out really quick. Other times they'll, you know, I'll have them for quite a few months while I'm working on them and I'll have another piece that I'm working on. Or it varies depending if the juice is flowing, but usually it's a daily thing. I sit down and I paint. I paint for me and fortunately it's been um, appealing to a wide variety of people, so they usually capture what they get, if they see it, they usually get the idea of what I was working on. And I'll do specific commissions for people, but mainly it's just what comes out of me. The most valuable skill to have as a painter, I'd say, would be imagination and the confidence to try something. Paint every day. Every day and never give up on what you want. And there's a lot of people that say, no, you can't do that, can't do that. I never listen to them. Just do what I want to do. and. And there's always somebody, someone says no, there's 10 people behind them that'll say yes. Bubbles are just fun. They started on a whim, they became sort of a signature piece for me. And they're just really fun to do and there's just something about them. They're sort of organic and whimsy with a bit of surreal, representational, kind of abstracty mix in there. Got a series for the West Coast uh, in my head and kind of on sketch. I'm gonna be doing a lot of the West Coast trees with the mists coming through and orcas and just more of the vernacular of the west coast scenes, not so much the tropical. I'll continue with the tropical because that's part of, that's where, you know, that's the happiness there. Uh, but I want to challenge, do something different. And the website is www.peterowengoodale.com. You can contact me through my website if you wanted to. Uh, I've got my email address there, so, um, and if you have any, any questions about print sizes or prices, again, just email me and I can let you know from there. For more information about Independent Scene or our episodes, visit our website. From Vancouver, I'm Josh Reimer. Thanks for watching.